Is there alien life on the moons of Jupiter? Europa is the sixth largest moon in the solar system and hosts a huge ocean beneath its icy shell. NASA's Jupiter-gazing spacecraft just got a rare close-up of an icy world. The Juno probe made the closest pass in 22 years of Jupiter's icy moon Europa on September 29th, providing the best view of the ocean world since the NASA's Galilea spacecraft flew by at 2000. As the sixth largest moon in the solar system, Europa is similar in size to Earth's moon, but has a much different formation and evolutionary history. Europa has a massive icy crust overlying an ocean that researchers think may be capable of supporting Earth-like life. From afar, they look like scratches. But zooming in on the surface of Europa, one of Jupiter's 79 known moons reveals that the structures crisscrossing it are gigantic canyons. They are not as otherworldly as they appear. Similar features are found in Greenland, formed by the repeated freezing and thawing of water below its surface ice sheet. If Europa's ridges were fashioned in the same way, it would support the theory that it has a huge ocean lurking beneath its own icy shell. Water, some scientists believe, could provide the conditions for life to have developed there. In recent years, the moon of Jupiter has become a focus of the search for alien life. Life is thought to require three things, water, energy, and a handful of elements that make up biological molecules. Earth has a bounty of all three. It seems Mars may do too, hence the flurry of exploration efforts there in recent years. More recently, scientists have come to believe that several of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons might also have the conditions for life. Along with Europa, scientists are interested in Enceladus, a Saturnian satellite, which is also thought to have an ocean beneath its icy crust. Jupiter's moon Europa is one solar system to look for alien life, in large part because it boasts a huge liquid ocean sitting below a sheet of ice. Although Europa is just one-fourth the diameter of Earth, its ocean may have twice as much water as our planet's oceans combined. And where there is water, there is the chance for life as we know it to settle down. But actually discovering whatever alien life might live on Europa will be an extremely tough challenge. The moon's icy shell is thought to be 10 to 15 miles thick. The furthest humans have ever dug into Earth is 7.67 miles. However, it might not be as daunting as we think. A new study reveals that the icy shell itself might be much more porous than previously thought. In fact, the ice might be home to multiple pockets of water that could support life as well. The key to these new findings, Greenland. We know that the double ridges form in Greenland when ice fractures around pockets of pressurized liquid water that was refreezing inside the ice sheet, prompting two peaks to rise in a specific shape. These pockets of water are shallow and help make the ice sheet more porous. The researchers believe the same mechanism accounts for the double ridges on Europa meaning the icy shell is dynamic, permeable, and perhaps rife with shallow bodies of liquid water. If Europa's double ridges also form in this way, it suggests that shallow water pockets must have been 
or maybe still are, extremely common in the ice shell. That means, the opportunities for life to evolve on the Europe are much more common. We won't be able to confirm any of this until we've had a chance to actually study Europa directly. That will likely occur in the next decade. NASA is planning to launch an orbiting probe called Europa Clipper in October 2024 and it should arrive on Europa in April 2030. It will be armed with an ice-penetrating radar that will be critical at telling us more about Europa's icy shell and should help uncover whether Europa really is our solar system's best bet for supporting life. 